Hello. Oh, ignore that. That's so out. <laughs> I'm eating jelly beans. Don't mind me. I never know when it's actually started recording. I just want to put that out there. That Instagram doesn't have like a countdown or anything like that when you go live. And it really throws me off because I don't know when I'm supposed to be able to say hello with it actually working. So that's why it's always got an awkward beginning, at least for my videos. But anyway, I'm going to have more jelly beans. They're so tasty. Mm. So, uh, I, I'm going to start at five past, as I usually do. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to get my chat up. And it's stuck in my teeth. That's embarrassing. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's June. How did that happen? Who let that happen as well? Um. Don't mind the screaming in the background, if you can hear it, by the way. Um, my kids are outside playing with the hose because... It's really warm today. Oh, that's got to that's gotta stop. Let's put that on silent. There we go. Then you won't have buzz buzz and you actually hear all my notification sounds and everything. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. My kids are playing outside because it's really hot today. And they've been excited to go and play with the hose. They're supervised, don't worry. There is an adult. There's two adults, actually. I wish I was going to open. Oh, I better that. There we go. My, <clears throat> I have my pattern, I need my thing, my embroidery hoop thing. What else? So because you guys don't ask me any questions, which is fine, but I'm here to answer questions if you have them. But because you don't have any questions to ask me, which again is totally fine, I'm going to listen to music. I'm going to listen to it through my earphones so that I don't run into any copyright issues. Because um, I know that in, that YouTube will have problems with it if I do. And I can only assume that Instagram will as well. So I'm going to listen to some lo-fi hip-hop music while I stitch and talk to myself. My hair. I fixed my hair. Oh, no, I just moved the bobby pin. Let's put that back in. I slept on. I slept with my hair tied up last night by accident, and it's all. That's what it does. All right, it's five past. I'm gonna move my phone. I can never remember how to flip it. Sorry, I have an appointment. Someone is coming because the house that we live in, that we rent right now, is being sold. Which is kind of funny, in a way. Um, yeah, they're, they're wanting to sell the house that we're living in. And we just bought a house, so anyway. Why isn't this tightening? There we go. Um, and they want to remodel the kitchen. So, I have to let someone in. At 2.30... I thought it was tomorrow, but it's not. Anyway, where's my little notes? Oh no, I've lost my notes. 
I'm gonna roll today. Knocked it out. They fell down. Okay. Need that. So today we are going to do the rope stitch. I think. No, we'll do the whip stitch first. We might just do a really short session. Oh, that's not going to work. I can't mute my... Can I, can I mute it? Oh, I have to look into that. Anyway, I'm not going to listen to music today. Because I want to get started. Let's get started. So, yeah, we're going to start with the whip stitch, not the rope stitch. <sighs> what should we do first? We're going to outline the little... What is that? A cone first. So, we are going to want to have our 898 floss and we want to have sorry we want to have two strands which I already have here is it 2.30? No. Yeah, today is going to have to be a short one. Alright. We'll try and get through all the whip stitches. Oh, no, we won't be able to. Okay. So, to do the whip stitch, we're basically going to do a, a back stitch. And then we're going to whip it. Do I really want to do No, I don't want to do a whip stitch. Oh my gosh. We're not doing a whip stitch. We're doing a stem stitch. My apologies. I have my written as my notes from... Um, I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're going... We're not going to do a whip stitch. We're going to do a back stitch. A uh, stem stitch. So we're going to come up on the corner of the outline of the little cone we're going to go in about yeah about two millimeters and then we're not going to pull all the way through and for the first one we're going to come back up where we started pull it through maybe I'll come up it's just not my day and snag the back of it. I might just cut that out. Okay, we'll start again. my knot we're going to come up go in come up at the start again pull it through and then we're going to start our stitch so we're going to go in we want to try and stay as close as possible to the basket weave stitches and you want to make sure that you hold the strand up away from your work every single time. It's probably too far away. 
that's better. So we're going to go about a millimetre past where we went in before. We're going to hold the floss up here, not pull it all the way through. We're going to come up where we came, where we went in earlier, and then pull through. So about a millimetre away in, pull not all the way through, come up where we went in before, and pull through. The corner is just the same thing, and it just kind of fills in itself. So do notice I'm still holding the floss away from my work. Don't worry if you've got bits of your fabric showing through. This is a the kind of stitch where we can wriggle it around a little bit and get it to sit how we want it to. So again, I'm, I'm still holding the floss in technically in the same direction. I'm holding it away from my work, even though I'm holding it down now, even though at the start I was holding it up. You, it's very important for this stitch that you make sure you hold your floss, the, this bit of the floss, in the same direction for every stitch. Otherwise it won't sit right. This, this whip stitch around here is just going to even up the, the basket weave, which inevitably will look a bit messy around the, the edges. I'm just going to go halfway through the two stitches there and then I want to go past it just a little bit to do the last one there we go so we can just wriggle it back in either with your needle or with your nail or whatever and, and that just fills it in so that's the first one I'll just tie off my thread
tripod thingy is getting all loose. Get that out of the way. Um, Alright, what should we what, what should we do next? We're going to do the little bases, I think. So for that one we need our light brown colour, which is uh, DMC 437. So this one here. We just need two strands, uh, four strands, sorry, of that. So I have two here. I'm just going to fold it over in the way that I showed you yesterday. So I'm just going to thread two of the ends, the two ends, I mean, and then fold it in half to make four strands. So now the needle's just halfway down the thread. You don't need a lot of thread for this bit. But it's exactly the same thing, it's just a couple of stitches. So we're going to come up, we're going to make sure we hold it, hold our floss up away from our work again. And we're going to do in. Don't pull all the way through, come up in the same spot, pull through, and then go past it, come up where we went in before, pull through, and then we're just going to do the last stitch, so go in, come up, and then just go in where we went in before and that just tidies it makes it nice and even and that's just that tiny little one so I'm gonna cut that off again I'm sorry I am clock watching like a mofo here because I'm, I'm gonna have to cut the stream off and I'll probably do a part two today so it'll be two streams for the day. But yeah, I misunderstood the message that my husband sent. I thought that I had an extra appointment I had to deal with tomorrow. But it's actually today. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one first. So I'm just going to come up at the edge, go in a little bit across, come back up in the same spot to start it off, then go in in the same distance for each stitch. And just remember that you want to hold your thread in the same direction, ideally away from your work. Because that's the stem stitch. Technically, if you hold it down and work, it's called an outline stitch for some reason. I don't know, I just I feel like it's just kind of being picky. I'm going to run out of floss before I can do the last one. The last one being this side. I have to finagle a little bit to finish it off. There we go. That is a little bit of red chicken there. I feel like I'm the queen of thread chicken in a way. 
do it all the time. Cause I'm lazy. Okay. I think I've just got four strands left on this, I do. I'm just gonna thread my needle, check the time. <laughs> you just joined me, I, I have to clock watch because I have an inadvertent appointment that I need to attend to at 2.30. Um, and I'm going to have to do a part two for today. So I'm going to come up, go in. So that's the last one. I am going to have to stop there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to stop there and I will ideally come back later and we'll finish off the rest of the whip stitch, which is the feet here. So my apologies. Um, hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye.